Well, it's Friday. Friday, yeah. June the fifth. Happy How Friday, Marshall. Yes, happy. <laughs> Made a week. Made another week. We made it a week. Praise God. All right. So we're uh, we're sharing these uh, Thursday and Friday today on expecting results. We started the week of be, not just believe, moving from believing to perceiving. In other words, moving into that position where we we have a right to receive. Right. We have you know, a revelation. Of right. That. We have a revelation that so that now when we pray, when we pray, now we're going to expect results That's from right. our prayers. Amen. That's correct. We were talking about he, uh, healing the other day, and and uh, I like uh, this. I wanted to, I wanted to say this again. Uh, you can go around saying fifty times a day or sixty times a day, "I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed." But if you, if you're only hoping to be healed, you know, and I think here's a designation, here's how we know. You move from seeing yourself as the sick to seeing yourself as the healed. Right. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to these symptoms daily in my body, yes. but the healing virtue of Jesus Christ is manifested but in my I know body. That Jesus has already healed me, so Amen. I am healed. Amen. I am already healed. Amen. And so we talked about yesterday. We ended yesterday with how we pray. We want. We don't want to pray wrong. We want to pray right. How do we pray? We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray God's word, and we speak what He has said about that matter, whether it's physical or spiritual or financial, whatever it is, relationship, and we then expect to receive uh, every time we ask. That's right. Amen. Yes. We well, we talked about a little bit about Mark 11, 24, but there's another scripture there, Marcia. Hebrews 4, 16 says, So now we come freely and boldly to where love is enthroned. Wow, I love that. Uh -huh. To receive mercy's kiss and discover the grace we urgently need to strengthen us in our time of weakness. So, when you're standing, sometimes it is tough because the symptoms are still trying to manifest themselves. Yep. That healing has not totally manifested themselves. You've got to stand. You've got to keep standing. You've got to keep Amen. speaking the yes. word. I like what God told Joshua. They're standing outside, or they're outside of Jericho. And, 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 and God does, he says this to Joshua several times. Um, be be strong and be of good courage. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's what we would always encourage ourselves with is that, Father, I thank you, Lord. I'm standing on your word. We encourage ourselves. Be strong. You know, don't let no let yourself get down because of symptoms or circumstances. Just keep encouraging yourself in the word of God. Well, there's one more scripture you want to share today. Okay, it's First John five and it's four through fifteen. You need to take time to read this yourself and. Uh, it says, you see, every child of God overcomes the world. Every child of God yep. overcomes the world. For our faith is victorious power that triumphs over the world. So who are the world conquerors defeating its power? Those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is the one who was revealed as God's Son by his water baptism and by the blood of his cross. Not by water only, but by the water and the blood. Amen. amen. And the Spirit who is truth confirms this with his testimony. So we have these three constants, constant witnesses giving their evidence. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. Amen. And these three are in, in agreement. agreement. If we accept the testimony of men, how much more should we accept the more authoritative testimony of God that Can he you, has testified concerning the Son? So, so what is the authoritative testimony of God? That God, if you ask in his name... He said, hitherto have you asked nothing in my name, now ask That's right. that your joy may be full. That's right. Your joy is not going to be full if you don't receive that which you, you need. That's right? right. That's right. And it's not going to come to pass unless you believe and perceive to receive what God has for you. So we should accept the more authoritative testimony of God that he has testified according to his son. Yes. Go ahead. Those who believe in the Son of God have the living testimony mm. in their hearts. Yes. Those who don't believe and make God out to be a liar by not believing the testimony God has confirmed about His Son. That's sad. That is so sad. But that's true. They do not hold that testimony in their being like the per people that are born again. Amen. They've turned it away. This is the true testimony that God has given us eternal life and His life has its source in his son. Yes. Whoever has the son has eternal life. Whoever does not have the son does not possess eternal life. I've written this letter to you who believe in the name of the son of God so that you will be assured and know without a doubt that you have eternal life. 
Since we have this confidence, we can also have, have great boldness before him. For if we present any request agreeable Come to on. his will, he will hear us. He, oh. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we also know that we have, we have obtained oh. the request we ask of him. Amen. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. Call upon the name of the Lord and he will answer. And so I believe there. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we also know we have obtained the request we ask of him. Praise, Praise God. God. Well, that ought to give us confidence in our prayer life. Amen. 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 To pray the word. And we use the name of Jesus, of course, because hitherto have you asked nothing in my name. Now ask. So we use the name of Jesus. We, we speak the word of God. And we believe that we receive and we expect results. Amen. Amen. I want you to expect results this week in your life. The word that you've been praying. Some of you have kind of backed off. And maybe it's been a while since you started praying. And you've kind of backed off and said, well... I don't really, you know, in your mind, maybe you're not saying with your mouth, but in your mind, you're thinking, I'm not sure if it's really going to work. Or I want you to do something. I want you to step up. I want you to step into that this week and say, you know what, Father, I believe I have everything that I ask of you because I ask according to your word. Amen. Amen. If Amen. you'll do that. Amen. Amen. Praise to receive God. that which God has for you. Praise God. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Have a blessed weekend. Hey, listen, come come to service with us. We are having an awesome time in church. You know, we are worshiping God. We are ministering the word of God. And we have two services now, one at 9 o'clock and one at 1030. We want you to come and be here with us. God bless. Have a blessed week.